Uh, thank you very much, Zina. Um, good day, Peter Sefer for more in the Buddhist Sile. Um, I'll just go with one question first, and then another one at the end of this course with with um Coach Stick. Um, Coach. Uh, if if um. Apologies. Uh, yeah, coach, yeah. Yes, sorry. The, the, the uh, coach, the, the squad has been together uh, training on the field for a short time. Yes, there were alarming camps on the way. With that being said, what are you expecting from the Gens, especially with the new blood coming in for the, from from this weekend's game? Yeah, listen, uh, it's a it's a it's a start of the season, you know, and uh, there's a lot of exciting things, you know, with also new personnel, also in our coaching staff. Uh, so yeah, at least we've managed to have our alignment camps. Uh, where we can align with the players and also get their input in how we want to do things and and then take this team forward you know and uh uh it's been good and then also being in the, those conditioning camps in uh in pretoria i think it helped us it gave us a bit of more time on the field with the players but once again i think a lot of guys are excited and also us as coaches you know uh well, because of once again we're gonna have to start building now towards uh 2027 and uh a lot of couple of youngsters getting opportunity in this team and with a good mixture with the experienced players around them. So uh, I think the most important thing for us is uh, not to try too much. It's just to make sure that we do the things that we planned well. And then also, once again, like we always say that, uh, you know what, we, we must also make sure that we focus also on our, on, our, on our soul, which is the things that we normally do well. So I think that's going to be a key for us uh, going into this game. We have to start well. And make sure that we pitch up uh, with our physicality, like we always do. Lisa, thank you, Zee. Hello, Stoker. Hi, Peter Steff. Hope it's on foot. If if you can touch on on the crowd of over sixty five thousand pitching up, it's the first of many for for a lot of guys in this in the squad, and also Rasi in his return. Um, and it's the first game of a four year cycle that's starting again. Um. Just what was the message to the guys in, in handling the the atmosphere, um, uh, the, the game itself, and then just um, the, the message from the system? Um, Peter, Steph, if you can touch on that too as well, please. Yes, uh, for the new guys, of course, playing in Twickenham in almost a sold-out stadium is an unbelievable uh, privilege and honour playing for the Springboks. Uh, it's our second test match outside of this window in a neutral stadium um, last visit against New Zealand and now against Wales. So uh, for myself personally, it's, it's a huge honor to, to play against them um, and to play that this match for the box and for the new guys. So the, the message we've got for them is we've, we've done the hard work this last two weeks. Uh, we've got our systems in place and the system is there to protect the, the guys uh, in the team um, so they can just go out and enjoy themselves and focus on their personal abilities and the, the abilities that got them picked for, for the Springboks. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Coach, just want to check what excites you about um, in the backs, uh, you know, about uh, Jordan and, and Ed Will? Yeah, I think if you, if you, if you follow uh, Jordan Hendricks' uh, career, you know, he's been coming to uh, the Lions over the past two, three seasons. He's been playing very well, but sometimes gets unlucky with his injuries, you know. So we've always had an eye on him, you know, because uh, he was one of the players with the great potential, you know, and, and how he manages the game also when he was playing for the Lions, you know. So, um, but one thing that excites me with, the, with, the, with that play plan, if we look at the balance it, with what we have, you know, a guy like Edwill, um a matter of probably similar style of play to what we normally have with Cheslin Colby or Kedley RNC, you know, and uh, with the experience of Mapimpi also in that uh, at, at, on the other side of the wing, you know. I think it's a it's a well balanced uh, back line, you know. If you if you look at what we got in that in that team, Apelele Fas is playing very well for the Sharks, and I think also for 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 Rasi to reward him with that. Uh, with the call back into the team and i think the last time he played actually for us it was against wales in uh, uh i think it was in plumfontein you know so for him to get an opportunity and i've seen him we followed him and then we've seen some growth in his game also you know so i think the most important thing for us is just the balance that we've got in that back line you know if you talk about uh, experienced players around the likes of Faf, uh pairing up with jordan so which is a good balance and then also in the midfielder with andre Esayes and who's been around also Whenever he gets a chance, he always 
play very well for us as a team, you know, uh, for the team and uh, with Jesse Creel. So I think it's a good balance for, for, for our study. Uh, but I'm also, once again, I'm more excited to see uh, uh, what those new guys will do tomorrow, you know, because of once again, if they get opportunity to the end, they grab them with both ends. I think the better it is for us as coaches going forward. Because remember, we always want to also build the squad depth, you know. So if we can know that, even if Chetlin is back after a couple of weeks, if you know that a guy like uh, Edward can do the job for us, I think that will be great for us as coaches. Thanks, Ina. How's it, guys? Um, Peter okay. Steph, obviously, this is the second time you're going to be captaining um, after Wales and Washington back in 2018. So um, a bit of similarities there in it being at a neutral ground. But uh, do you think sort of the differences this time around is it's a much more experienced side that's coming up. So there's a bit more pressure, do you think, on you guys to win? And uh, secondly, for you personally, uh, filling in as captain, is this more... Do you see it more as a filler role or do you hope to become more permanent uh, at a d later stage? No, just on the captaincy side, it's a massive honor and a privilege for me to, to be able to captain this team. Um, but uh, I think in the past, I think everyone on Chasing the Sun also mentioned captain is irrelevant in this team. Um, but it's got a job description and the job description is the communication between the players and the ref. Um, inside the team environment, everyone has a specific role that's been assigned to you, and that's your responsibility on the team, on, on the field to make sure uh, that aspect of the game performs. And then, uh, yeah, uh, against Wales, it's again I've got a special bond with them. It feels to me personal. I've made my debut against them in 2013, and then first time captain, and now second time captain. So it's it's special for me to play against them, and especially. Um, the respect we have for each other and the, the way they play, the physicality that they bring to the watch the, the game as well. So, uh, pressure is always there to win um, when you put on a Springbok jersey. So, uh, we've done our preparation this last two weeks. Again, it's we've got some, we've got a new defence coach, a new attack coach, but the core of the squad is staying the same. So, I think we've, we've got a bit more of a better edge than we had in 2018, but again, the pressure will be on, on both sides. Thank um, you. Thank you again, Zina. Zina, this this one is uh, for Peter Steph. Peter Steph, um, again, con congratulations with the captaincy. You get another opportunity to lead out the side. Will you be looking to lean on the likes of Irvin and Bonki? You're not really known to speak much, but rather lead by actions. But at one time when he spoke and said, I'll, and I'll say it light in English, come, let's make a plan. What? Yes, again, those guys are... I've been part of the group with myself and with Rassi and everyone in Stockholm, with everyone for his last, I think, six years now. So you've come to understanding a bit, sort of understand each other. You don't always have, to, some guys will speak, some guys will lead with action. So again, with this environment as a team, uh, they just want you to be yourself. Uh, you don't have to be someone else, do something that's not expected of you. And, uh, and that's the nice thing about this environment. You can be yourself, myself. If I feel there's something that's on my heart that it needs to be said, I'll definitely say it. But if I, I feel the message has come across, it's no need to speak again and, and waste time on a certain aspect of the game. Stoker, um, just for you, please. Uh, it, it's, it's a tricky first game um, where you, you're bleeding new guys, but there's also that tag of world champions um, on your back. Um, and, and there's a vast experience, especially amongst the pack of forwards. Um, how much are you protecting the guys against that pressure of wanting to show South Africa, yes, we are still champions, um, and, 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 and not falling into that trap of trying to go out and prove that um, uh, we, we are still the champions, if, if you understand what I'm, what I'm meaning by that? Yeah, no, listen, the, the key thing for us that we always focus on and that's something that we always draw strength from is we're not just uh, protecting the status of being number one of world champions. We are protecting South Africa, you know, you know, we are representing plus minus 60 million people, you know, so uh, whenever we get an opportunity to play as a Springbok, we know the, 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 the honor and the, and, the, and the responsibility that's in our shoulders, you know, we're representing the country. So. Besides being world champions, I think for us, the most important thing is that we have to protect South Africa, you know, and also the fact that uh, we know the legacy of this jersey that we're using, you know, the Springbok jersey. It's been 
there for ages. So at, at, at all times, whenever the players, they put that jersey, or that, that jersey over their shoulders, they know the, the responsibility that goes with that, you know. So once again, we'll always do our, everything in our power to make sure that we protect South Africa, you know. So tomorrow, yes, I know probably Wales will probably be excited the fact that they're playing against world champions. But for us, it's not it's not about that. For us, it's just to make sure that we we, we start well the season and then make sure that we're going to keep on building from it. Because it's going to be a tough season. It's going to be a long season. But once again, for us, it's all about the, the Springbok rugby and the South Africans. Steven? Uh, thank you very much. Um, Coach, how have you um, guys found the new voices uh, in the management team? Um, just from a coach's perspective, because what's quite interesting about it um, through the years, you know, South African players like playing like South Africans, you know, so there's a limited um, scope really to bring in um, foreign ideas, if, if you understand what I mean. So how have you found it? Have you found it um, stimulating and have you guys uh, taken a, a lot of positives on board? Yeah, listen, it's a, like we've already talked about it in the past to say like if we're going to think we're going to do the thing, the same thing that we normally do, used to do in 2019 or 2023, you know, the other teams they'll catch up on us, you know, and uh, they will study us and they'll probably go past us. So we also, as a team, we, it's very important also to keep evolving, you know. Yes, like you mentioned now, there are certain things that we, 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 don't, we can't compromise, you know when it comes to how we play the game, you know, and uh, South Africans, we take pride in, from most especially when you see our physicality and how we and how we play our kicking game, you know. But the key thing is that with the new voices and the new coaches, I think it's it, it's a balance, you know, and I've been enjoying the past couple of weeks working with these gentlemen, you know, and you can see also they don't have big egos, you know. Uh, it's people that really want to make, uh, contribute to the team to make it a better place. And once again, with the, uh, Tony Brown's mindset, you know, he's someone that really empowers the players, uh, you know, with, uh, when it comes to decision making also on the field. So I think the key thing for us as coaches is to make sure that we, we complement each other when it comes to uh, the, the, the way we want to play the game. But once again, when it comes to other things, we, we, we can't negotiate, you know, the players, they understand very well that at least if we defend well and we kick well and uh, probably on the set pieces also, we get advantage there, you've got a better chance to win the game, the rest can follow after that. Otherwise, if you want to try to do all the nice things and then not do the hard work on the field, probably it will be a long day for us. But once again, uh, hopefully things will get together nicely tomorrow. Ross? Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Um, Stoker, the bench is a little bit inexperienced. You know, you've got two uncapped players. Salman's only played three times and Tutugum Chunu once. So do you guys, are you guys hoping that um, the starters lay the platform and, um, you know, that there's like maybe a good lead for the second half so the guys can come in with less pressure? Or do you actually, would you prefer them to come on with a little bit of pressure, you know, to sort of uh, see what they can do there? Yeah, listen, once again, on the other side, you've got, you still got Bongi on the bench and you've still got a guy like Franz Malerbe on the bench. And uh, if you look at probably the possible players that were available for this game, you know, uh, uh, this is probably the best possible 23 players that we could have selected. That's one thing for sure. And a lot of those guys that are on the bench also, if you look at guys like Salman Murad, who's been coming in our system also, you know, for a while, for him now to also get an opportunity, something that is very exciting that I'm looking forward to. And once again, like we always say, we always want to build squad depth in, into our system. If you remember very well, I think it was two years or three years ago when he played against Wales in, uh, in Bluefontein, you know, and then the likes of us who were playing in that game, when we gave guys like Ketley Ares opportunities those days, and then people kept on saying, uh, we, probably we, we, we don't understand what we're doing. But now you talk about Ketley Ares, Everyone's got a massive respect on him, of him, you know, as a world, one of the world best probably wings at the moment, you know. So once again, unfortunately, if sometimes you want to build squad depth, you have to make some bold calls. And I think a lot of these youngsters, they deserve that opportunity. So I'm excited and I'm looking forward to see some of them. Ben, Jason Dixon also has been doing very, very well for the, for the Stormers. So I think for us, it's a key that we, are, we must also reward 
some good performances from, from our players also. Um, guys, please are reminded to just raise your hands for questions. Um, I, Nathan is now on his third question, so if there are any others, please raise your hand. Uh, Nathan? Um, I just got a couple of possible questions for, for Coach Tick. Yeah, all good, Nathan. Okay, thank you very much, Jennifer, for the opportunity. Um, for more, uh, tell me, in this better route to local, guess if it's Puman Funus Bona and Kule came your car. Uh, Nathan, that I never legle, Kutiba, see, she said it told for the season. If the Kumbu never looks in a latte, you know, as he was, as he got it is now Zangamanda because of the world champions. So in the Balegle, you could make sure one does Kalum Jabs, Kalega Gusha, Kulu, and more especially it's all about the physicality because of the Kumbu, Kalele Wales, Kabapana Nogo, Abanamanda, Batanda Nabo, the physical side of the game. So the kicking game, Yabo, it's in the Abaitan Abba organized Kulu. So I think our process of challenge or Kuka Kulu. So Balegi like that. Funny guys, see, long jalo angom. So if I am a support team, then so Kalega has a team. So they make sure that as in those close ends, like that, like in those set pieces, net defense, net in game, so they can execute the game. And then a younger guy, you know, they have played that because of the kumbule again. So now that we have a chance, we have a good team. So we have a chance to win the game. Which is the attack here. So I want to be probably slightly a different kind of thing. I want to. So I think on with with London, the third leg. I think on. There's also excitement from the, all of us. I'm talking about players and coaches to see what we can do from tomorrow because of Utala Seven Zakat the past couple of uh, uh, two weeks, you know. So, my lady, I want to make sure that set the tone for the season yet because of it's by season end of cool and it's by season end of the cool. So, what about Amatol is out there now? Sorry. Um, Nathan, can you give others a chance, please? Herman? Thanks, Zina. Um, sorry, I've just got a question, uh, maybe for Peter Steff. Uh, I've, I've just had a look at the head-to-head -head against Wales. Um, the, the last 10 games you guys have played, it's been 5-5, five, five, five wins and five losses. Now, obviously, you, you haven't always been in that opportunity to pick necessarily the best block team, but Wales have, have been a bit of a plucky side for you over the, over the last few years. You know, there's a stage where I think they won four in a row as well. So... Uh, just uh, your your views on them. What 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 makes them so tough? You know what 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 is it that they bring that um that provides a challenge for you guys? Yes, that was sort of the message that uh, the coaches team gave us as well. So we only have in the last, like we said, this five from five, for the five for them, five for us. So that's something that we have to focus on, and it just shows you like there's no easy test match anymore. And uh, what makes it difficult to play against them is the physicality, the big boys, their heart. Um, I still remember last year when we played against them, the message that, that we got from the coaches staff is they're going to keep coming till the last whistle go. And I remember, I think, I can't remember exactly which try it was, or maybe it was a second or third try. And normally a team walk, walks back from, from underneath the post to the, to the halfway line and take the time to kick off. They were jogging. Um, they were ready for the next, next moment, trying to get points on the board. So... They're not going to stop, and I think that's what what makes a challenge to play against them. They're always going to keep coming. Steven? thank you. Thanks. Is it okay if I ask Peter Steff a question in Afrikaans, please? Uh, yes, that's good. Sorry, I'm calling Stevie. <laughs> um, Peter Steff, um, last is um, wedstrijd wat jy gespeel het, um, vir die springmokke het jy 25 duikslaag gemaakt en, en was jy speler van die wedstrijd in die, die wereldweek en eindstrijd. Um, het jy al gedink oor die um, toekomst, jy weet, uh, langtermijn, wat is het wat jy nog um, wil bereik um, in een boktrui en miskien um, net as een span, um, jy, jy weet, uh, as die kern van die span, die pad voor en toe, wat, wat wil jullie nog um, bereik? Ja, as die kern van die span is het natuurlijk baie belangrijk vir ons om combinaties uit te vind, denk ek, um, en momentum te bouw. Uh, om gereeld onder die top 3 on, te wees uh, in die wereldranglees. As ons daar kan blij doen ons iets recht, dan weet ons ons blij competerend, uh, jong en ons in te bring in die spanning. So as daar kan doen, sal SA Rugby en die springbokke op een goeie voet wees tot en met die volgende wereldbeke. So natuurlijk het bouw ons met die, met die oogpunt van 2027 uh, op die, wat die einddoel is. 
Ähm, mein persönliche Doelwit ist, um in elke Wettstreit mit Besser zu spielen, äh, alles zu geben, was ich kann geben kann. Und nicht um mich so zu wissen für die Spanne und mich kann zu bringen, was ich kann, was alle nötig hat. Bye-bye, danke. Für spezielle. Ich für jou als Verblief, um, net um, oor Malcolm, um, uh, tijdens oefening, um, wat, wat was jou observering van hom, is hy gretig om terug te komen op die veld, is 9 maanden, um, uh, hy het glad nie in Japan gespeeld nie, um, so, so net, net die gevoel om hom ook terug te het in, in die boksman. Het is ongelooflik om as Malcolm in sy kaliber terug te het in sy ondervinding. Um, ek denk, Voor hom gaan het ongelooflik lekker wees. Ek was zelf al een paar keer in die situatie geweest. En om terug te komen in jou eerste wedstrijd is een toetswedstrijd. Wat op twee keer nog wel is. So ek denk die druk gaan al wees. Maar weer in sy die ouwens rondom om, om, om gemakkelijk te laat kan voel. Ek denk ook nie dat we te veel van hom verwaag om die wedstrijd op sy eie te, te wen nie. So ons is daar vir mekaar. Ons is daar om hom te ondersteun. Maar ek denk, mens gaan definitief, of ons allemaal kan definitief een goeie wedstrijd van hom persoonlijk verwaag. Uh, Stoker, how much momentum can you guys sort of take from a game like this when you consider that, uh, you know, there'll be another squad named after the game, a few more players coming in from, uh, you know, Europe and uh, from the Bulls. Um, so do you still think you can still take a lot of uh, momentum from this type of game into, you know, the incoming series against Ireland and Portugal? And then secondly, just maybe if you could both uh, have a word about, you know, it's a really big weekend for SA Rugby, you know, with the Bulls in that URC final. Yeah, Ross, I think uh, for us it's key to start well, you know, uh, not only because of just the personnel in place, you know, um, I'm, I'm talking about the systems that we are trying to install as coaching staff. Like I said, we've got a new uh, tech coach, we've got a new defense coach. So uh, I think if we can do execute well our plans, you know, and, and see how the players are, uh, are executing uh, from, the, from the new voices, you know, I think that will be one of the most positive things for us if we start well. That's, 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 that's one thing when it comes to uh, momentum that we're looking for, you know. And yes, uh, I know there's going to be change in personnel sometimes now and then uh, when the other players are all, all available to play. But once again, for us, I think the, the more competition we get between our, play, our players, I think the better it is for us as coaches, you know. We want to build squad depth, but we want also at the very same time to make sure that we still protect uh, uh, our, 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 our South African emblem. And we want to protect our Springbok emblem. So, at all times, we always want to perform our, at our best. And then, then tomorrow will be a good test. Like Peter said, just mentioned now, uh, Wales, they're very, very tough side. They're well coached. You know, when it comes to the kicking game, it's part of their DNA, you know. So, I know one thing for sure that we're going to be challenged tomorrow. But once again, I think for us, uh, we will take a massive, massive momentum if we can execute the, uh, the way we want to play the game. And I think it will also build confidence amongst our players going forward. Yeah. And then once again, when it comes to Ireland, we'll probably only start talking about them probably from Monday after the game. Nathan, we'll take your last question. And then Stephen, if that's an old man, then you can close off with Nathan. Um, yeah, we'll close off with Nathan. Um, thank you very much again, Zina. Um, for more, uh, Kotet and Jane, who put us to have guys or Kukele, Kela, Umdutan Sebenda, Minion, Gabale. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of e, e leaders that have been in the team. We've got a lot of e leaders that have been in the team. We've got a lot of e leaders that have been in the team. We've got a lot of e leaders that have been in the team. We've got a lot of e leaders that have been in the team. We've got a lot of e leaders that have been in the team. We've got a lot of e leaders that have been in the team. We've got a lot of e leaders that have been in the team. We've got a lot of one of the strong leaders. Yeah, one and in Jamaica, it's chill. But if I'm about sometimes, there's no need for you know about that. I can't do it as I tell you about. So in the balance, we have to to make sure that we are the same supporter as our country and same as as a leader. It leader it who now our So situation we are going to have for tomorrow and say as much in terms of the Jamaica people who are for the next season that they are going to. Thank you, Sticky. Thank you, Piti. And uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us. Um, I'll send out the